With everything that's been going on with COVID-19 and the coronavirus and people being stuck inside, musicians are making more music than ever before. And a big comment I've been getting on a lot of my videos, specifically about DistroKid, right, because I've done so many videos about them, hands on the best independent music distributor out there, a lot of people said like, hey Mark, I'm seeing this weird yellow basically dot here that basically means it's kind of processing and it's going to be sent to stores, yet it's not been, right? I've had some people hit me up saying, hey Mark, it's taken two or three weeks and it's still this yellow dot. Now obviously as you can see for me, all my dots are green in the good sense that all my releases that I've actually released during this coronavirus and everyone being stuck inside in this quarantine, all my releases have gone to stores, iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, et cetera, et cetera. So in this video, I'm basically gonna talk about three different techniques or ways to make that process and go away or basically speed up that process in general. First thing we talk about is look, right now it is taking significantly longer for companies to kind of just do their normal business work, right? It's probably no surprise to anybody. So that's the first thing I wanna say is that look, sometimes it just might take time. I know for me, sometimes when I release a song on DistroKid, it could take 10 minutes and next thing I know, the dot's green and it's being sent to stores. Are there times it might take significantly longer and it kind of varies, but especially during this coronavirus quarantine, things are taking way longer than ever before. So that's one thing I do wanna say is look, it stinks to say, right? A lot of people are suffering. There's a lot of stuff going on around that's very, very tricky. Just that's something to keep in mind that, you know, this is something that just unfortunately might take a little bit longer than before. The second thing is basically delete the release and re-upload it. So if I go to a release, so if you notice I have this, you know, uh, release is successfully processed and delivered to source, if I go to edit or basically go to delete the release, then basically I can take it down. Now, when it's in this processing stage, this should say delete or abort the release. What that means saying, hey, you know what? Never mind. I don't want to release it. It's something I suggest to do because it's one of those weird things where I remember just an example, kind of random, but it kind of relates to DistroKid. I remember I was ordering something on Amazon. This is when the quarantine first happened. And it said, okay, Mark, it's going to take us three weeks to get it to your door. And I'm like, you know what? It stinks, but I get it, right? It's coronavirus uh, quarantine. It's very, very tricky. And my friend, two weeks later, ordered something and she got it in five days. She got it quicker after ordering it two weeks in the future and then getting it in five days. And for me, I saw, she's like, oh, I already got my thing. And I'm like, what are you talking about? They told me to be there in three weeks. I'm still waiting. And I think because maybe the way the algorithms work when it comes to just the process of shipping an item, you know, district could be kind of similar to that. Maybe before you're more likely to be delayed. So for example, those people who commented saying, hey Mark, you know, it's been taking me three weeks. I'm still in processing. Try aborting the single and re-uploading it. It actually may happen within the hour. You know what I mean? I know it sounds kind of weird, but I think because a lot of companies said, look, we're just going to take Murphy's Law and say, you know what? It's going to take us three weeks. It's going to take us whatever. If you wait a little bit, like I said with my friend, she waited two weeks, ordered something on Amazon. She got it before I did when I ordered it three weeks in the past. So I might suggest aborting the complete release itself and just re-uploading all the stuff. I know it's kind of annoying, but that might speed up the process. Number three of the last one basically is to submit a request. Now to go to this site, you wanna to go to distrokid.com slash contact. It's gonna basically refresh to this and this you can submit a request. So I can go to this, I can say music missing. And then you basically can get very specific about like say for example, you released a song, but it's still not on Spotify or it's still in processing. And this is basically a direct contact to DistroKid that allows you to contact them directly. It's They don't allow you to email them directly anymore just because they have so many musicians in their database. So you basically have to go to this Zendesk basically platform. You basically submit exactly what you're looking for so it goes from basically the right spot you then kind of give like a subcategory of what's going on so for example like you know um least missing from stores right so again this will give you some more stuff in mind and then you submit a ticket and then the tickets basically you contact them saying look this is what's going on i'm waiting on this release so and so forth so that's basically my best advice when it comes to dealing with what's going on with coronavirus and whatnot i mean being honest like i said in the beginning one it just might take some time it's something that you just have to deal with i've noticed that district kid especially for me releasing music has gotten faster since the quarantine happened but remember there's two other tips like i said besides you know just waiting it out is one try basically aborting that release and re-uploading it, I guarantee that will speed up a lot. And lastly, number two, if like say you're at the point where like, look, I've done that, it's still not working, go to distrokid.com slash contact, go to the Zendesk, and that will make it significantly easier.